Hi guys, Jade Morris here. I'm joined by UC featherweight Ricardo Lamas ahead of his upcoming fight at UC 225. Ricardo, it's great to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's always great to have you on. And last time we spoke, you said you were hoping to get on the Chicago card. Now, obviously, you are on that card, so you'll be on UFC 225. You must be absolutely thrilled to be on this card. Yeah, I am. It's been a while since I've been able to fight at home in front of my family and friends since uh, I believe the last time was in 2012, um, right at the end of 2012. So uh, it's been quite a while, and I'm, I'm happy to be back now. I was about to say, actually, are they all going to be coming to the fight? And how does it feel to be able to walk through up to the cage knowing it's going to be in front of your entire home crowd? It's great. You know, that walk to the cage is always fun. But when you're doing it in your hometown and you have a lot of your own family and friends that are supporting you, it just makes it that much better. And you're facing um, Asad Bektik. Talk to me about him as an opponent, where you see his you know, weaknesses, where maybe he poses the biggest threats. And... You know, break down that match for me. What do you think of the matchup? Uh, I think it's a good matchup. You know, when you get to this level, there's, there's no easy fights. Everybody's tough. Everybody brings their own problems to the table. So um, what I've seen from him is he's, he's a very aggressive fighter. Uh, you know, comes at you the whole time, um, looks for his takedowns. Um, I think if it hits the ground, uh, I, I'll, I think I'll have the advantage there. You know, I just think my jiu-jitsu is a little better than his. Uh, and I feel I feel comfortable no matter where this fight goes. So I don't think he's faced anybody uh, at my caliber yet in his career. So this is going to be a, t a big test for him as well for, as for me. And obviously going back to your last fight, which we saw uh, last year, obviously it was such a tough loss to Josh Emmett. Would you be willing to take that rematch? Because I know he said that he'd be open to doing a rematch. Would that be something you would be interested in? Or are you just looking to move forward now from that? Yeah, of course. You know, any any blemish you have on your record, you want to try and, and erase. So um, any of my losses, I'd love to get a rematch with any of those guys. And do you wish, uh, does a part of you like wish you'd maybe waited for Frankie Edgar or like Brian Ortega to, you know, in order to get that next shot at the title? Or do you not think of any of that? You know, it's waiting around in this sport. You're just kind of wasting time you know we have a very small window of opportunity as professional athletes and we have to take advantage while we can so um i don't regret any decisions i've made of, of taking fights in the past um you know this is how i earn a living for my family this is how i put food on the table so i gotta fight if i want to make money and if you get the win on june 9th what happens next who would you like to face next do you have your eye on anybody I don't have my eye on anybody. I just want to, you know, keep the win streak going. Um, I built up a little one uh, before that fight with Josh Emmett, so I just want to get back to the belt, get another opportunity to fight for, for a title. Uh, so whoever will bring me closer to that is, you know, the person I'd like the UFC to put in front of me next. Well, we look forward to seeing you at UFC 225. It's always great to speak to you. We know we've caught you in between uh, training, so we'll let you get back to that. But thank you again for your time. Anytime, Jade. Thanks. All right. Thanks.